Yankees hosting the Red Sox, and the Red Sox are plus 136 on the money line. The Yankees are minus 162. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Red Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 172, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 142, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And, you know, I don't think anyone was expecting the Yankees to put up two touchdowns today, but, you know, it it happens. You know, today is a day of offense in the the major leagues. It's supposed to be 87 degrees, 6 mile an hour winds, and 3% chance of rain. And Ben Rice hitting three home runs in today's game also, you know, didn't hurt the Yankees' chances of winning. Crawford pitched once against the Yankees uh, this season. Six innings, three runs, three earned. They won 9-3. He struck out nine. Gill pitched once against the Red Sox. Five innings, one run, one earned. They won 8-1. That was in Boston, and he struck out six. So both pitchers beat the opposing team when they pitched against them. Head-to-head, -head, they're 5-5. Five and five. The road team, 6-4. and four. The underdog is both 6-4 and four on the money line and 6-4 and four on the run line, which also means when the favorite wins, they win by multiple runs. There have been two one-run games in their last 10. Both of those games were when the underdog won. The over is 5-3-2, and two, and the over 8.5 runs is 6-4. and four. The Red Sox are 2-3 and three in Crawford's last five starts. The over is 3-2 and two in those starts. Six innings pitched, 4.4 hits, 3.8 runs, 2.6 of which were earned, 7.2 strikeouts, 1.2 walks, 1.8 home runs. He's given up a home run in his last five starts and multiple home runs in three of those starts. 82.8 pitches per game and 13.7 pitches per inning. For the Yankees, they're 2-3 and three in Gill's last five starts. They've lost his last three starts. The over is hitting his last three starts. The over is 4-0-1. and one. Four innings pitched, 4.6 hits, 4, 4 earned runs, 3.4 strikeouts, 2.8 walks per game, 0.8 home runs. He's given up a home run in his last three starts. 83.4 pitches per game, 22.8 pitches per inning. The Red Sox are 2-4-5-1 and one in their last six. Nine runs, 11 runs. Eight runs and then 18 runs. Seven runs and a win. Six runs and a win. Five runs and a win. And then four runs and a loss today. For the Yankees, they finally snapped their losing streak after getting swept by the Reds. Five runs, 12 runs, eight runs, and then 18 runs. Two runs and a loss. Four runs and a loss. Three runs and a loss. And then 14 runs and a win. Maybe this was the wake-up call that the Yankees' bats needed. It's just, is Gill going to give you more than four innings? For Crawford, I feel bad because if he starts giving up home runs... The Yankees lineup even kind of at half strength is dangerous. I'll take the Yankees with the money line. I'll take the Yankees laying the runs that I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.